Over in Washington, members of the U.S. Congress met with South Korean lawmakers and agreed the Allies should consider redeploying tactical nuclear weapons. In contrast, some Democrats proposed a bill to limit President Trump's authority to use military force against Pyongyang. Oh jung zooms in on the conflicting developments. The U.S. agrees that the Allies should consider redeploying tactical nuclear weapons to the Korean Peninsula. That's what the chairman of the U.S. House Armed Services Committee said on Thursday at a meeting in Washington with members of South Korea's main opposition Liberty Korea Party. According to the party spokesperson, Representative Mac Thornberry said the redeployment of tactical nuclear weapons is possible if South Koreans want it, and he'll make sure this is discussed within the Trump administration. He added that amid growing nuclear and missile threats from North Korea, if South Korea and Japan feel any bit of doubt about the U.S. nuclear umbrella, it is natural for them to think of getting their own nuclear arms. Representative Thornberry called the North Korean threat imminent and called for Seoul, Washington and Tokyo to strengthen their trilateral cooperation. He added that only when Seoul and Washington coordinate closely and maintain a powerful military force can they press Beijing to work on Pyongyang. While some U.S. lawmakers agree on the need to beef up military capabilities against Pyongyang, dozens of others have proposed limiting President Trump's authority to launch a preemptive strike on North Korea without congressional approval. On Thursday, a bill called No Unconstitutional Strike Against North Korea was submitted by fellow Democrats John Conyers in the House and Ed Markey in the Senate. They said President Trump's reckless behavior and provocative rhetoric put U.S. troops and American allies in danger, and therefore Congress should act to limit his authority. It's the first bill to specifically name North Korea as the possible target of a strike and the first to ban any sort of military attack. 61 lawmakers in the House have backed it, two of them Republicans. Oh Jung-hee, Arirang News.